Hi, my name is Mia Sandino. I am a junior board member at MIB Agents. Uh, I am here to talk to you all today about Limb Loss and Limb Difference Awareness Month. Um, I have been battling osteosarcoma for almost three years now. Um, I had a limb salvage surgery back in September of 2018. Um, I have about 15 inches of metal in my right leg now, um, including a knee replacement and big rods, you know, the whole nine. <laughs> and some people get a decision, you know, some people can make the decision if they would want to amputate or do a limb salvage, but my doctors decided for me and that's completely fine. You know, they're the experts, I understand. But it was a change that I had to get used to very quickly because suddenly, you know, I, one day I was able to run and jump and to go skiing and to go on long hikes. And the next day I'm learning how to walk again. Um, and that was really difficult for, you know, someone so young, I mean, looking back on it, I, I, I'm a whole new person now, obviously, but it's something very difficult to adapt to. Um, you know, I still can't ski, I, I can't really run or jump without fear of snapping my ankle and needing to get either a whole new, you know, limb salvage surgery or amputation after that if they couldn't fix it. But I still find ways every day to be myself. I can still walk even though I walk with a little bit of a limp. Uh, I can walk pretty quickly too. A lot of people are surprised by that. And trust me, I get a lot of dirty looks when I put up my handicap parking placard looking this young and barely walking with a limp. Um, that's definitely been a change for me. And basically I just think people need to be more aware of how much these operations change people and how difficult limb loss and limb differences can be. But at the end of the day, there are people out there like MIB agents working to make it better. And we all get better and we all adapt and we all change. And at the end of the day, I think that that's the best that we can do.